Hello and welcome to this channel. Dick van Oeveren signing in on this next video that covers how to configure sudo port based tunneling with, user, with a user based tunneling setup. Uh, this video is part of a series of videos covering Aruba's dynamic segmentation solution and you can click on the link if you want to see more of the many other videos in this playlist. Before I dive into the configuration which is very straightforward. Let me explain how the pseudo port based tunneling functionality works with user based tunneling. Now on the Aruba OS switches you cannot uh, enable port based and role based mode at the same time. So you have to choose one mode. Uh, this would imply that it is not possible to have a single port using a single VLAN with multiple devices. Although it's not possible to configure this on the switch, it is easy to have ClearPass perform automatic authentication for the clients sitting on the unmanaged switch and assign them to a user role. And then this user role, I, you know, you can even decide whether you want to tunnel the traffic for that port and keep or, or keep the traffic local. Um, in essence, the behavior of a port with multiple automatic authentications on, on the user-based tunneling will be the same as, port, uh, as a port-based tunnel port. Um, when you have a secondary user role configured in the user role, there is an additional enforcement on the mobility controller like you have with port-based tunneling. The main difference here is that authentication with port-based tunneling takes place on the mobility controller and with user-based tunneling authentication takes place on the switch. Now what do we need in order to get this to work? Uh, so what I'm going to do is on the switch configure a class and a policy for the authenticated device. Um, configure a user role uh, with or without a secondary uh, role uh, and in this scenario I will uh, uh, I will configure a secondary role because I want to establish a tunnel. Um, on ClearPass I want to configure a profile um, that pushes the user role VSA and also create a policy and a service and then on the mobility controller configure a role, uh, assign firewall rules and assign a VLAN to that role. Uh, and that's what I will do in the coming 10 minutes. As test device, I will connect an unconfigured switch to the UBT switch on port 1. And then subsequently, once the whole setup is working, I can connect additional devices to the unconfigured switch. And these devices should be connecting to the network and, and they should authenticate automatically. Let's start with the switch configuration. There's already a class that allows all traffic. Let me show you that. Class config. At once here, all traffic, and I will use that class uh, for uh, for the policy that I will be creating. So config uh, that will be policy uh, user pseudo pbt, and I will assign that class uh, action permit. And then next is to create a user role that contains that policy and also a tunnel node redirect uh, entry. Um, that's going to be AAA authorization user role name. Let's call it pseudo PBT as well. Uh, policy PBT. And then tunnel node server redirect, and that will be the secondary user role name. Let's call that one pseudo PBT as well. So that's the user role that I need to create on the mobility controller. Um, and then, of course, we have to enable authentication on the access port. I will be using port 1 to connect uh, the switch. Um, so first what I have to do is uh, I will set the maximum supported uh, number of MAC addresses on the port for MAC, uh, for MAC authentication, which is 32. And then just enable MAC based authentication on port 1. Um, so first is the client limit. 
Mac based. Um, that's port one, and I will set an address limit of 32. And then the second one is just to enable Mac authentication on port one. And that's it for the switch. And now for ClearPass, I will configure a profile that pushes the uh, the, the UBT switch or the PBT pseudo uh, user role name and then assign that profile to uh, to the policy. So first the profile uh, it's going to be a radius based enforcement let's call it pseudo PBT and I need the HPE user role attribute here um, and that was pseudo pbt that's the user role that has been configured on the switch and next is the policy what I'll do is I will create a new policy because I want to distinguish the service later on based on the NAS port service rule so for the rules I will uh, just be adding the user authenticated condition and assign the pseudo PBT and update endpoint known profile. So let me create that policy. Uh, let's call that one pseudo PBT as well. My default would be deny access and for the rule it's just the uh, user authenticated role um, that one and then I will push the pseudo PBT profile and the update endpoint now and that's the policy and next is the service let's create one it's a Mac authentication service and let's call that one PBT as well. Uh, now I, I need to distinguish um, this service uh, so what I have to do is I have to add a service rule where I identify the NAS port that is uh, used in the authentication request. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the NES port here equals one. OK, uh, so this is because I am connecting the unmanaged switch to port one. So what will happen is that when the request comes in, uh, check, uh, the clear pass will check this service and will trigger this service based on the NAS port. Okay, so I will also enable authorization. Um, go to the authentication. I'm going to do an al allow all Mac authentication and I will keep the uh, endpoints database as authentication source. Also for the authorization source I will use the endpoints repository um, and uh, other than that, that's good. Um, so this is because, uh, I, so I actually the reason why I'm selecting the endpoints repository is that I am selecting the uh, allow all makers method. So there's no real authentication and authorization. But if I want to check on some attributes later on, um, I can use this authorization um, entry here so I can check against attributes in the endpoints repository okay and then for the enforcement I'm going to assign the pseudo PBT enforcement policy okay so that's the service the other thing I need to do is um, because I already have a Mac authentication service here for the local user role um, I need to move this uh, pseudo PBT up uh, the uh, so above the Mac auth local user role because I want to check on a specific uh, service first. So what I need to do is I need to reorder this pseudo PBT and put that one above the Mac auth 
service. Next is the mobility controller. So what I have to do is I have to create a VLAN first because I want to use VLAN 130 as the like the pseudo PBT VLAN. So let me create that VLAN. Let's give it a name. VLAN 130. Okay, you can see it's there. Fine, good. Um, and yeah, just a quick check. It's assigned as uh, attacked uh, VLAN. Uh, sorry, the so port 000 is a tag member of that VLAN. So this is a trunk board. Um, next is to create a role. Uh, just push the changes first. Um, okay. And let's create a role called sudo pbt. I've got one, that one here. And in that role, um, I'm just going to add a like a generic uh, policy that allows all traffic. And the other thing I need to do is I need to assign VLAN 130 to that role. Okay. Um, and then just commit the changes. And that should complete the configuration of the mobility controller. Okay, so let me just check out the switch. What I will do is I uh, will enable debugging and debug user tunnel node. So I will get these messages. And what I will do now is I will connect the switch to port 1 and see what happens. Uh, I can see some things happening here. Okay, so if I do a show port access client one. Yeah, so I can see that the pseudo PBT user role is pushed. So that's good. Let me also check the access tracker. Yeah, so really what you can see is you uh, you see that there are two MAC addresses here. So you got the 40 and the 48. So a, a switch, uh, an Aruba switch, uh, has multiple MAC addresses. And so the 40 address, that will be the uh, the system MAC address. So that will be his uh, primary address. But you see that, uh, that the authentication is fine. I can also see in on the mobility controller, I can see that the... Um, uh, switch is authenticated and you can see it has an IP address. So that's all uh, that's all working. And now let me just uh, connect um, a couple of clients and then see what happens with those uh, with those clients. Um, let's go back to the switch. Um, I can do a show port access client one again. See if something's happening there. Oh, there's some tunnels being created here, so that's good. Um, yeah, so you can see those additional MAC addresses here. So you got the 40 and the 48, which is the switch. And so the first entry, uh, that's, oh, that's 0066, so that's a camera. And the DC, the second entry, that's, that's a PC. That's a client connecting. Um, now let me check the policy manager again. You can see that the uh, pseudo PBT role is pushed every time. So that's all that's all good and I should see some more clients in the uh, in the access tracker yeah I see so I see the two extra clients here so that's the camera here and you can see the uh, the laptop that the client here and then the switch Now, really, the main difference with the original port-based tunneling is that although the clients um, 
share the same VLAN and role, you have visibility of all the clients rather than just the port being fully transparent. And, and so this is a big advantage as opposed to port-based tunneling where you don't really see the clients uh, connecting. And that's all for now. In the next video, I will cover downloadable user roles. So keep on the lookout for more great stuff to come. And thanks a million for taking the time to watch this video. Thumbs up is very welcome. And if you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, please let us know. And at the moment of releasing this video, there are over 400 videos to watch on this channel. So when you subscribe, you will get all the latest and greatest information about Aruba Networking Solutions. I hope to see you soon and have a great day.